This building is located in the heart of Kharkiv, the second largest city in Ukraine, in a neighborhood that is now next to a front line. It's been targeted several times by Russian bombs. I think they do it on purpose, all this destruction of civilian infrastructure. They do everything to scare people, to create panic. Up until April, there were more civilians being killed than soldiers. So this is direct and obvious genocide of our nation, and no Ukrainian can stand idly by. Not too far away, firefighters are trying to put out a blaze that is still raging, following fresh Russian bombardment. At least four people were killed on Monday in the Kharkiv area. Volunteers have been helping evacuate people from frontline neighborhoods in the city, where Russian bombardment has been continuous. There are bombings all day, all night, all day, all night. In the beginning, at night, it was more quiet. It happened only during the day, but later they began bombing at night. Volunteers say that more than a thousand people continue to live in basements without access to electricity, gas and water. The bombardment extends beyond the region of Kharkiv. On Tuesday, the governor of the neighboring Luhansk region said that the Russian army had shelled civilians 17 times over the past 24 hours.